a new cylinder head is largely responsible for the increase in power and torque. Apparently there's improved porting for better gas flow and a higher compression ratio at 12.92 to 1, up from 12.25 to 1. The engine also gets new pistons and lighter Nikosyl plated liners, plus a lighter crankier and smaller starter motor. The alternator is lighter than before, and so is the battery. Externally there's a new sump and by rerouting the oil passages to the cylinder head, Triumph has been able to remove the visible oil pipes of the old engine. Thanks to the lighter internals it spins up faster than before, as well as having a higher red line. Altogether, Triumph counts 105 new or redesigned engine components. But it hasn't stopped there. The exhaust is also new, with a larger catalytic converter and lighter header as well as redesigned silencers for this version. The RS comes as standard with lightweight aero cans. Even though the quick shift and auto blipper are not standard, the gearbox itself and the slipper clutch have been given a little TLC and I found them perfectly harmonious. Shifting is sharp, accurate and completely worthwhile if only to listen to the exhaust note. Not too sensitive either so I didn't find myself accidentally shifting if waving a foot nearby. The aero and cans on the RS model are part of the new freer flowing exhaust system with a larger catalyst and lighter headers and are a brilliant inclusion as standard.